Sup, beautiful people. It is time to do 2017-18 Panini NBA Hoops Basketball 20 box full case break number four. So let's get it. Oh, I'm 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 good, Michael. I'll be fine. Uh, just like I said, I I am only sleeving autos. I'm not even top loading them. They will get top loaded by assorters. You know that's that's what they get paid for. So I'm gonna try to go through this as quickly as possible. And with that said, it's still gonna take me a while. Just so many cards in this man. All righty. And as always, good luck, everybody. There you go, Abraham. There's a little dust particles there. Abraham can sing. I wish Abraham could sing to me. If he could do something that cool, you know. I would uh, he'd be like a sideshow or something. I, I would sell him off to the uh, to the what you call it, to like the the fair or something. Have him be a carny. All right, time to go through this. That's, that's where I'm at right now, Michael. That's that's why I'm silent. I'm trying to, one, focus on my breathing because I can barely breathe on my nose. Fucking weather changes kill me, man. But as you're going to see, it's going to take me more time to open the packs than it is to actually go through the break. Watch. Luke Williams of the Clippers to 189 there. <laughs> Not yet, Devin. I literally just started this. Haven't pulled any autos just yet. I'm going to try to get through this pretty quickly. Marquise Chris. Uh, Sons Auto. Kobe Bryant insert there. John Wall insert. And 
And we got those Roto Finals inserts that are numbered to 2017 like crazy. Like why? That's Tim Fraser for the Wizards to 199 there. Uh, nothing yet, Kent. I just started. Only the Suns, Marquise Chris has the auto so far. Got Alonzo Ball there. Insert though. Would have been sick if that was the auto. The auto goes to the Pelicans, Frank Jackson. Ricky Rubio of the Jazz there to 99. Got those 2K inserts. <coughs> That's it for that box. Put this stuff away here. Try to minimize the mess, you know. Let's open up another one. Box two here. Take a sip. Get some uh, sugar in my body. Yeah, inserts like crazy. But did you see all the... Like, check it out, dude. I have a monster box that I'm putting this stuff on. Base inserts. Of course, in the base, the, 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 all the rookies are in there and stuff, too. So, we do sort through all that. The veteran base does not ship in this product, if anyone's wondering. I see Panini points already, so let me take them out the way. 150 Panini points. I really don't like those. I don't think the Cavs have a rookie this year, Kent. You threw away 3,000 put any points before? Wow. You probably uh, probably had a bunch of good shit in there. Or, you know, to redeem or whatever. Probably could have got something cool with that. I don't even know what you can redeem, honestly. Never been on the website.
Inserts like hooray. Oh, this unnecessary base, man. Like, the rookies are fine. But all that veteran base? Unnecessary. Then again, this, this stuff really is for the kids. Alright, nothing there. Evan Turner to 99 there for the Trailblazers. The Shaq inserts. There's Kobe inserts. This is likely the auto. Daddy is young to 25 for the Pacers. Very nice. And there's a Harrison Barnes insert there. K. Felder to 199 for the Cavs. He was the rookie last year for the Cavs. It is though, Michael Thomas. It is. Bam out of bio for the Heat there. Insert style. So we've got the two autos already. I'm just sorting through this now. Jalen Brown insert there for the Celtics. Nothing there. Stanley Johnson for the Pistons. Tell our lighting nuggets insert there. Except for that box. I'm only two two boxes deep. Oh Lord. Half sees on this. Go through this half on here. Yeah, trust me, you will never see a LeBron Auto in a Panini product. Never. You will see Gary Harris though, the Nuggets with the Auto. You know what they say? Never say never, but I promise you. Ben Simmons, that's another one. You will never see a Ben Simmons or a LeBron James Auto in a Panini product. Until, you know, unless they buy the rights, Upper Deck has the exclusive LeBron and Ben Simmons Autos. Drew Booker, Devin Booker, my bad, insert there, insert base, and another base, 
So I opened up half of the packs, got that other half there. Damn, I'm falling asleep right now. Uh, I'm not sure, Kevin. I can't. I'm not. I'm not sure, honestly. Would have to look at the checklist. My guess is yes, but it's a guess. The checklist will tell you for sure. John Collins insert there. Panini points. God, I don't like those. The Alec Burke there for the Jazz to 189. So that's going to take a place of an auto. Those Panini points there. Keep going through it. Nothing there. Vanilla Vonley for the Trailblazers is to 199. Let's do another box, yo. Michael Thomas, have a good night, man. Thanks for hanging out. I'm actually surprised there's still people in here, honestly. Keeps want their NBA hoops fix. You work 2 p.m. to 11 p.m.? That's not bad. Yeah, Lucas, yep. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's it's it, it, it's not fun at all. Not at all. But CBJ is going to feel the pain of this on Saturday.
All right, Lucas, have a good night, bro. Later. Let's see what we got here. The Shaq inserts. Kobe inserts. Danny Manning with the autograph for the Clippers. Mike Conley insert there for the Grizz. Kevin Durant courtside insert for the Warriors. Shaq inserts galore. Folster for the Sixers. But healed. Gary Harris for the Nuggets to 189 there. Backstage pass there for Marcus Smart and the Celtics. Devon Reed for the Suns to 199. There you go, Moon Dogs. Dorsey to 99 for the Hawks there. I like how Shaq and Kobe have both have inserts in this product. Shaq's, Shaq was probably all like, I want inserts in the NBA hoops. And then Kobe was like, well, I want some too. If Shaq has some, I want more. Dwayne Bacon of the Hornets with the auto. Seriously falling asleep. Alright, that's it for that box. See you in another one. What's up, Viralis TV? This is box number five, 15 more to go. So I am on pace to finish at about five in the morning. Yeah, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm falling asleep, bro. Like, I could feel myself falling asleep. I 
I'm, I'm opening packs just off straight up muscle memory. Moondog, this is your first hoops break? Well, I'm telling you right now, dude. I wish you the best of luck. But you hit something, so that's cool. I hope you hit more. Uh, but man, this break is... Uh, it is not for the, for the weak of heart. This thing takes hours. To do one case. It's pretty ridiculous. It takes me about... Two and a half hours to, to go through this. I can only imagine how long it takes to sort. All right, let's see what's in this box. You know, I spend more time opening packs than I go than I do actually going through. The, the cards. Well, prepare to hit the lotto, Cam Freeman. It's your first break, period? Nice, dude. Welcome to the breaks, man. Well, I hope you know how it works. I hope you read the description underneath the listing for the eBay break nothing there John Wall insert Laurie Marquina of the Bulls with the auto How'd you hear about his moon dogs? I'm curious. I hear you. Well, listen, I'm glad you decided to pull the trigger with us. Hope we can get you some more good stuff. The Devin Booker there took 199 for the Suns. Dwight Powell, the Mavericks, with the auto. Nothing here. That's the 99. The Evan Turner Trail Blazers card. Like, dude, I can feel myself nodding off as I go through these. The Sean Livingston there for the Warriors to 199. What do we have here? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Ah, I got you, Moon Dog. So you have the Kings, huh? I'll tell you this much: I have yet to see uh, the Aaron Fox autograph in this product. I know he's in there, so good luck to you, New Guy Mojo. Hopefully, we'll see you here. Where's my knife? This is only box six. Oh man. I wonder if I could do something crazy like what if I was like Hmm. 
That's so stupid. <laughs> ah, that was dumb. Card's not affected. That's uh, obviously good. That was so dumb. Why did I think that would work? I'm, cl I'm clearly losing my mind. That much is clear to me right now. Not much else is, but that much is. Kent, you really gotta look at the checklist, my man. Basketball cards, buy, sell, trade. I would, uh, I would definitely sell. I still can't believe the Dolphins fucking lost 40 to 0. Lord Josh, what's the name of that group? I wouldn't mind joining that and you know dropping links to the to the website. I need to drink something here. Ah, got you, Lurk Josh. Got you. Newbies not allowed. I guess I should start my own then. That'll take forever to get going. A James Posey auto for the Grizzlies. I feel like I fell asleep just now. Did I fall asleep just now? Did y'all hear me snoring or something? You know how like when you close your eyes for a bit, you're like, oh, I'm just going to rest my eyes. And then you wake up and it's like hours later. Did that Did that just happen? Or am I, or am I officially losing my mind? It's a cool finals insert there for KD to 199. Paul Millsap Nuggets. Nothing there. John Collins with the auto for the Hawks. Very nice.
a Ginobili for his first to 199 there. As you can see, I'm really trying to speed through this, man. One there. Capella of the Rockets there to a 99. That's it for that box. Look at you, Kier Freeman, looking like a boss. I just, I had to like take a little break over going through all this stuff. I checked the email real quick and I see you, Ken Freeman. Look at you looking like a Mac Daddy. Let's continue this. Yeah, I saw it, Kent. I saw it. I saw it. I'll do that when you give me the name of that Brazilian, Lurk Josh. Later, man. Have a good night. Be safe out there. I'm officially alone. Well, you wouldn't hear much. I mean, he's just going to repeat whatever noise is going on in the background at a higher pitch. When do those direct deposits come in? Like from like 3 to 5 in the morning, right? God, this is... I'm waiting on the picture, Lurk. You know, I, I never got an email from you. You never told me the name. You know what I'm saying? So, help me. I'll help you, Lurk Josh. I'm just saying. I want a Brazilian in my life. Wow, Kent. You actually remember the names? I don't blame you. I still remember my high school sweetheart's name and all that other bullshit. Yes, Lurk Josh. Yes. Don't forget to put the dot com on there. Thank you, Lurk Josh. See, I mean, he only really repeats when he feels like it. I got him on for you guys. I guess that's going to keep me entertained for, to, for now. I'm already annoyed. What is this? Stefan Zimmerman for the Lakers with the auto. Stephen Zimmerman for the Lakers with the auto. Andrew Wiggins to 25 for the Wolves there. Andrew Wiggins to 25 for the Wolves there. 
literally repeats every like sound. Right? Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh god. I heard I held up my end of the bargain, Lord Josh. Harry Giles. Oh wow. Right there. Uh Jason brought this from his time in Japan. He was opening up a uh, Bowman Asia product. He was opening up a uh, Bowman Asia product. So he was spending, uh, a few, I think he spent some, some weeks, a few weeks in Japan. He so was he, spending, uh, I think he spent some, some weeks, a few weeks in Japan. So when he comes back, you know, he brought a whole bunch of like candies and stuff. And he also brought Abraham as well. When he comes back, he brought a whole bunch of candies and stuff. And he also brought Abraham. Oh snap, Josh! I got it. Oh snap, Josh! I got it. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Hey. If that's the actual creature. If that's the actual creature. Then I'm down to get around. To get around. I, I might have just fell in love if that's the one. I, I might have just fell in love if that's the one. So, Lord Josh, you gonna put me down or what, dog? So, Lord Josh, you gonna put me down or what, dog? I mean, I'm just saying, bro. I mean, I'm just saying, bro. Oh, snap, Josh, I got it. I mean, I'm just saying, bro. I'll treat her good, man. I'll treat her good, man. Alright, let's put this away. Eee, Bobby, Bobby, Boop. Babu 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 Well, it says. Well, uh, it the, says. You see? Mm -hmm. Just turn them off real quick. Made, it says made in China. A mimicry pet. I don't know if you can notice it. You see how there's the kanji on there? The Japanese writing? There it is. I'm telling you, dude, it's it's official Japanese product. T Arts. I'm telling you, bruh. Abraham, right? You're from Japan. I'm from Japan. Told you. Told you. Well, Lord Josh, how high are you right now? Well, Lord Josh, how high are you right now? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Maria, who said you can stop dancing? Maria, you better. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maria, who said you can stop dancing? Maria, you better. There you go. Listen, I don't know what your friend's name is, but she's hot. Uh, uh. Lurk, Josh, I, I know you're fucking with me, but at this point, I don't care. Uh, On the one percent chance, though, that you're not bullshitting me, and you, on the chance, though, that you're not bullshitting me? and you know, and you actually, you know, put your boy down and whatnot, I'll, I'll take her on a date this weekend for sure. I got a date this weekend for sure. And and I won't even try to like put moves on her. I won't put moves on her. You know, just a di you know, dinner date, whatever, you know. She 
He's in Tampa this week. Well, listen, Lurk Josh, you you you've seen my Instagram, so you know the Instagram name. Boom! Boom! So what's the deal with your friend? So hold on. So. So what's the deal with your friend? So hold on. So. So she was from. She's from Atlanta, and she moved down here. So she was from. She's from Atlanta, and she moved down here. I hear you on that one, Lord Josh. Damian Jones for the Warriors. Damian Jones for the Warriors. So the creature's name is Marina. Mm. Uh, the creature's name is Marina. Mm. Bruh. 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 Bruh, bruh. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Bruh, bruh, bruh. I'm just saying, bruh. I'm just saying, bruh. I think I'm in love. Especially if she likes anime. Oh, yeah, especially if she likes anime. Oh, yeah, especially if she likes anime. Oh, yeah, especially if she likes anime. and stuff, too. Like, we could go to conventions together and we could cosplay. Especially if she likes anime and stuff, too. Like, we could go to conventions together. You know, she could be the, she could be the Hinata to my Naruto. She could be the Chi Chi to my Goku. The Chi Chi to my Goku. She could be the Bulma to my Vegeta. She could be the Bulma to my Vegeta. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping I pull like a Lonzo Ball or something out of this. I'm, I'm hoping I pull like a Lonzo Ball or something out of this. For the Nuggets. For the Nuggets. Tyler Lydon. You want me to do the boom some more? You want me to do the boom some more? Abraham, you hear this guy? Abraham, you hear this guy? Boom! Boom! Hold on, I'm going to do a cool one for you. Hold on. Hold on, I'm going to do a cool one for you. Hold on. Waiting for an autograph. Oh, she's from Tampa. Oh, she's from Tampa. And she moved down to Miami? She moved down to Miami? What's the deal with that? What's the deal with that? I got you, Kent. I got you. I got you, Kent. I got you. So the Joe's a Joe Harris there. Ten ninety nine for the Nets. Oh, damn! I'm down with the nerdy girls, bro. Oh, I'm down with the nerdy girls, bro. Like I've never been able to like hook up. Well, I've hooked up with a few nerdy girls. Like I've never been able to like hook up. Well, I've hooked up with a few nerdy girls. But then. If, and then, you know, I get bored. I get bored. So I kind of just, you know, shoo them away. So I kind of just, you know, shoo them away. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Lord Josh, I don't think people care as long as they get their cards, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>
Like, dude, I can't, I can't stop glancing over. I'm just gonna, like, you know what I'm saying? I can't help but, like, glancing over real quick and be like, oh, damn. You know what I'm saying? I can't help but, like, glancing over real quick and be like, oh, damn. Oh, damn. She's a little chunky little thing, but that's that's fine, so am I. She's a little chunky little thing, but that's, that's fine, so am I. Actually, my concern right now is that he runs out of battery. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> oh, there's nothing wrong with the cushion at all. You know, I don't want to put her out there because, you know, that'll be super extra sketchy. But she's a cutie pie. But she is a cutie pie. Like hella cute. You know what? Let me let me close this shit. I don't want to see her. I don't want to see her no more. She she probably doesn't even exist. I believe it when I see it. You don't have to behave, Ken Freeman. You can, you can be wild. You don't have to behave, Ken Freeman. You can, you can be wild. Dude, he copies everything. Dude, he copies everything. What what was it, uh, Kent? What what was it, uh, Kent? Troy Daniels, boom! Troy Daniels, boom! There you go. Oh, yeah. <coughs> that hurt my throat, actually. <coughs> that hurt my throat, actually. <coughs> Justin Pan of the Timberwolves, Auto. Justin Pan of the Timberwolves, Auto.
I'll try. The Zach Randolph there for the Kings to 99. That's it for that. Alright, so this is box number 10. What up, Moon Dogs? The most torturous fun? <laughs> oh, yeah. Jesus, man, I'm I'm honestly falling asleep. Finish the rest of my lemonade. Finish the rest of my lemonade. I think there might be Kevin Love autographs, but I mean, I think there might be Kevin Love autographs, but I mean, I can't see the the checklist, so I don't know. You, you could go to cardboardconnection.com and see it on there. They may not have rookies, but they have veteran autographs. I'm just not sure who. Unless I pull a Jason Tatum, Moondogs. Unless I pull a Jason Tatum, Moondogs. I remember a few cases ago, I pulled... I don't know, a few cases ago, I pulled... Jason Tatum and Marcus Smart in the same case. Jason Tatum and Marcus Smart in the same case. So that was a good one for the Celtics.
Alright, this is box number 10, the halfway marker. Alright, this is box number 10, the halfway marker. Oh, Harry Giles was nice up until he got hurt. Oh, Harry Giles was nice up until he got hurt. That's what affected his uh, his draft stock, but he's a great player. That's what affected his, uh, his draft stock, but he's a great player. See, look, Josh, you know your stuff. Look at you. Hey, look, Josh, you know your stuff. Look at you. Josh Hoistis for the Thunder Auto. Josh Hoistis for the Thunder Auto. The Eric Gordon to 25 here. Okay, here. AI, the greatest of all time. AI, the greatest of all time. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. They don't tell me. I'm like fighting sleep off right now. They don't tell me. I'm like fighting sleep off right now. So I can only imagine how bored you guys are. I can only imagine how bored you guys are. DJ Wilson book. Alright, that's it for that. What happened, Josh? Almost there, Uncle Jesse. Almost there. Almost there, Uncle Jesse. Almost there. I'm gonna speed things up. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Cut them all open. Cut them all open. Kinda, anyway. That would be kind of funny. I 
I've done it before. <laughs> like Josh. I've done it before. <laughs> And uh, they didn't take it too well. <laughs> and uh, they didn't take Yeah, like who names their kid Lonzo? Yeah, who names their kid Lonzo? And to make things worse, he has like a Lamello, a La, La, La Jello, like what the fuck? To make things worse, he has like a Lamello, a La, 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 La Jello, like. You know, the, my thing about Lonzo is like he's a good player. I just I don't like what his dad is doing. And, and my thing about Lonzo is like he's a good player. I just I don't like what his dad. You know, his dad is, you know, getting him, he's going to get him in trouble. And his dad is, you know, getting him, he's going to get him in trouble. Oh shit. Oh shit. Boom! Boom! That's actually a really good card right there. That's actually a really good card right there. The Aaron Fox, baby. Fox, baby. So nice, I'm taking my time and top loading it. So nice, I'm taking my time and top loading it. I don't know if I would want to smoke that shit. Love that shit. The Blake Griffin there for the Clippers to 99. There's a fox in the house, baby. There's a fox in the house, baby. There you go, Moon Dogs. First break. That new guy Mojo is no joke. That new guy Mojo is no joke. Boom! Boom! Cow it, your raptors. That's it for that. These are all inserts and whatnot. Lurk Josh, why, 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 why you gotta, why you gotta, why you gotta do that? Why you gotta do that? I mean, he's not lying, though. I mean, he's not lying, though. That's why I fucks with you, Lurk Josh. That's why I fucks with you, Lurk Josh. And the honeymoon's been on ever since, right, Kent? And the honeymoon's been on ever since, right, Kent? Oh, wow, Lord Josh. Wow. 
Well, tell that guy to go to ripcitycars.com. Have him register for an account so you can save fifteen dollars on his first purchase. And I can I can feed that addiction. Well, it's like I told you, Kent. Always do your research on the brakes, man. That's what I told you, Kent. I always do your research on the brakes, man. Hey, Kent, you Well, Lurk, still tell him about me. You never know. He probably has friends that, you know, are addicted still. I mean, you never know. He probably has friends that, you know, are addicted still. I don't even know what the Lakers went for in this. I, I haven't been able to download the listing. I don't know what the Lakers went for in this. I, I haven't been able to download the listing. That's not gonna happen, Lurk. That's not gonna happen, Lurk. And unless I die, unless I die, it's not gonna happen. Then I would probably be having to look into another job. But I'd probably be having to look into another job. Boom. See, even Abraham got tired of the booms. Even Abraham got tired of the booms. Boom. Yep, Sandarius throwing the clippers. He's no longer saying boom. Seventy nine for the Lakers. He's not saying boom anymore, dude. He's not saying boom anymore, dude. He's done. Boom! He's done. Boom! There it is. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Markel folds. Boom, baby. For the Sixers, damn, that's a sweet card right there. The Sixers, damn, that's a sweet card right there. So, Fultz and Fox. That is nice. Oh. Yeah, I wonder what we did on this break. Yeah, I wonder what we did on this break. Money wise.
Juan Hernan Gomez, 39. What you talking about, Lurk? What you talking about, Lurk? All we're missing is you, Lau Alonzo. I'm missing is you, Lau Alonzo. I pulled every big name except him. I pulled every big name except him. I feel you, Lord Josh. I mean, don't you gotta work in the morning, bro? Yeah, work in the morning, bro. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that, Lord Josh. Matter of fact, you're fucking driving me crazy right now. Sorry, Lurk, but that's starting to give me a headache. Panini points? Yup, Panini points. 600 Panini points that time. Why is that, Kim Freeman? Because those are your team? Gotcha. Yeah, that's a lot of Panini points to random. 600, 250, plus a 150. For a little bit. I mean, where am I now? I have seven boxes left. <sighs> Trying to power through this thing. have 900 Panini points to give away here. Hold up, I lied. A thousand Panini points. Holy shit. Because I have 600, 250, and 150. Yeah, Kent, with that, it's probably people, like, I know there's people that have, uh, like, settings on their eBay or something like that, or maybe it's an application or a bot or something, where uh, if somebody outbids them, it automatically puts in another bid, like, and they can put the amount that they want to, but they want to bid, like, let's say you outbid me, and you put in $19. If I have the auto bid set up, it'll automatically outbid you by whatever amount I want to do it. So if I put like a dollar, then I'll outbid you at 20, you know? There's a lot of sne sneaky people out there on, uh, on, uh, on the internet. Alright, what's in this here? Julius Randle for the Lakers there to 99. I wonder if I can go any faster. Probably. E.K. Anigbogu for the Pacers with the auto. Yeah, I mean, I'm telling you, it's like Lurk said, and like I told you, dude, I'm, you know, I don't do anything on eBay, but Uncle Jesse has his ear to the streets, and the streets told me there's, you know, bots and applications and stuff you can download that'll, you know, just automatically bid for you, which is kind of cool, you know. Got to get with the times. Got to get with the times.
They were giving cards out or something, Lurk? How'd you manage that? Dude, who are you? What do you do for a living? You know what I do. You're seeing it. Nice, Lurk. Would you like to share with your Uncle Jesse what exactly it is you do? Oh, you're also going to school? Nice. You know, I tried going to school. Not for me. I got an associate's degree in, uh, in audio engineering. And I have a bunch of credits there at like a, at a community college where, you know, if I take a, a class or two, I graduate with another associate and I could continue the education. But honestly, me personally, it's not for me. I would much rather work. Oh, nice, Lurk. That's what's up. I don't know if uh, if I told you, but uh, you know I do. Well, I used to rap. Used to have a little rap group. And, you know the dream is still floating around up there, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Like my dream would be to be like to own a studio and stuff. That'd be dope. Well, Kent, that's, you know, you, you're one of the originators, man. You know, I, I remember listening to people talk about the hobby at the National, and people were saying how, like, you know, autographs on cards is, is still a fairly recent thing. Like, people weren't autographing cards until, like, the late 90s, which, to me, is mind-boggling. You know, you would think that athletes would have been autographing cards, you know? And then, you know, I started doing a little more research on the hobby. Found out it all started with, like, cigarettes and stuff like that. The T206 collection. And how that's, like, the most expensive thing in the world. Bitch better have my money. Oh, nice. Is, you, so you got to meet him? You got to, like, talk to him and stuff, Dennis? That's a that's a rookie that I'm, I'm really high on. He was a monster in college. Got hurt, but he's still killing it. All right, Moondogs, have a good night. Ricky Rubio, auto for the Jazz. What up, Pack Buster? Come on now, that's what I do. You know, your name is Pack Buster. My name is Cardboard Moses, baby. I lead my people to the promised land. The people want me here at 5 in the morning. And that's what it's going to take. Julius Randle there. Insert the Lakers. Lonzo Ball, who keeps teasing us. Cameron Oliver of the Rockets to 25 with the auto. Yo, that's what's up, Lurk. That's cool as hell of him. You know, I, I met a few, uh, like I, I met Lonzo Ball at a, a, at a Panini uh, event at the National. And I got to talk to him for a few minutes. And he's a really cool dude, you know, soft-spoken. You know, he's very humble. You know, nothing like his father. I also met um, 
Chris Dunn, who plays for the Bulls now. That dude is hella cool. Chris Dunn is fucking cool as hell. I wish that kid nothing but the best, man. Really cool kid. I was talking. He was talking to me like, you know, I was one of his homeboys. And I thought that was cool as hell, man. I talked to the. I talked to him for a good five minutes. I also met Glenn Rice. Glenn Rice is the man. I I talked to Glenn Rice for a solid five ten minutes. I was holding up, you know, the the line or whatever to meet him, but I didn't care, and he didn't seem to care either because I'm a huge Heat fan. So when I started watching basketball, you know, Glenn Rice was one of the original, you know, superstars on the Heat. So when I met Glenn Rice, uh, you know, I go up to him, and first things first, you know, I approach him like he's one of my homeboys, you know what I'm saying? I came in like this, everybody was coming like this, you know what I'm saying? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, everybody was trying to shake his hand, but I was like, nah, I came here. You feel me? I came like this with it. So, like, boom, you got to give me dap. You know what I'm saying? So, we dap up, and he was like, instantly we click. Cool as fuck. You know, the first thing I say to him, I was like, look, Mr. Rice. Because I'm hella respectful whenever I meet, like, athletes or anything like that. Or just anybody in general. You know, I'll call you Mr. or anything like that. So, I was like, Mr. Rice, I just want you to know, uh, you know, when you left Miami, it broke my heart. And then he's like, and then he leans in because he's like a hella tall dude. I'm only 5'10". He's like 6'8", tall as shit. So he leans in, whispers in my ear, and he was like, bro, that was like the hardest thing I had to do in my NBA career. And he told me that shit, and I was like, damn, for real? And he's like, yeah, he's like, don't get me wrong. I love Los Angeles and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, my home is Miami. So I'm like, yeah, you know, that's cool because, you know, I'm from Miami, you know. I'm a Heat fan, blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. You know, where do you live? So I was telling him where I stay by. He's like, oh, shit. You live close to, uh, you know, I guess he has family that lives uh, close to my area. I, I live in the hood. So I guess he has family around there. I also went to school with Trick Daddy's uh, nephew or whatever. So I'm used to seeing Trick Daddy at the at the, at the the flea market or, you know, in the, in, in the neighborhood or whatever. That does nothing to me. You know what I mean? But Glenn Rice was like, you know, he started name dropping. He's like, yeah, you know, I got family that lives over there by Cutler Ridge. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, shit. You know, I live like two, three minutes away from fucking um, uh, from Cutler Ridge. He's like, oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah, dude. You know, I live in Richmond. Uh, I live by South Miami Heights. He's like, oh, yeah, damn. That's, you know, blah, blah, blah. So we're chatting up. You know, we ended up taking pictures. I took a few pictures with him or whatever the fuck. And then, you know, we're still chatting. And I was like, damn, man, and, you know, it sucks that you left the heat. And he's like, yeah, you know, that that was really tough for me to leave Miami because I really fell in love with the city, the people, the culture, uh, and the team. And, you know, he was telling me that was the toughest, you know, thing in his career that he had to go through. Um, and he's like, but you know what? I never left. And I'm like, what you mean? And he's like, yeah, I don't know if you know. And I didn't, but he's a, he's a scout for the heat. You know, he, he scouts out talent and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, shit. So no wonder we have all these good young players. That's because of you. You know, Tyler Johnson, um, Josh Richardson, et cetera, et cetera. You know, that's all Glenn Rice. So I was like, damn, yo, that's you? He's like, yeah, you know, I discovered those boys, whatever, whatever. Um, so we keep talking basketball. And then... I was pretty much like, well, listen, you're doing a hell of a job. You know, I, I tell people this and they don't really believe me. But, like, I feel like the Heat really do have, like, the best organization in, in, in basketball. And he's like, I agree. And I'm like, and I was like, well, you probably have to say that because you work for him. So he starts laughing and shit. And he's like, well, nah, man. Like, he's like, and he starts telling me, oh, more Panini points there. So he starts telling me, he's like, nah, seriously, you know, just because I work for him and I play for him, you know, and he played for a couple teams in his NBA career. Um, but he's like, he genuinely felt that the Heat were the best organization uh, from top to bottom, first class, family oriented. And, I, you know, and I was telling him, I was, that's, that's what made me fall in love with the Heat is, you know, the, the fact that we have a culture and everybody buys into it and, and whatever. So I was telling him, I was like, well, you know. I tell people this and people look at, look at me kind of weird. So I was telling him, I was like, you know, I think 
the Heat are like the East Coast Spurs. And he's like, and he looks at me like, oh shit. Like he gave me that face, you know what I mean? Like his eyes opened up big and he put his hand over his mouth. And he's like, yo, it's funny you say that. Verbatim, he says this. He's like, yo, it's funny you say that. Because I say the same thing to people. And, you know, people, of course, say yes to me because I'm, I'm you know, I'm Glenn Rice. You know, basketball player, whatever. So I started laughing. I was like, nah, man, for real, though, like... It's a first-class organization, and I can't think of another organization, like, currently that's doing, you know, doing it like the Heat. It's, a, it's the Spurs. It really is. And that's it for that. I'm glad that took the time of me opening up all those packs. See what I did there? Damn, Lucas, you might need a haircut, bruh. Yeah, we're looking at, uh, let's see, 400, 800, hold up, so there's 400, there, there's 1,400 Panini points, that's a lot of Panini points, and you know how I do, I combine the Panini points, I don't have time for that shit, go big or go home, baby. Also met Deion Sanders. That guy fucking sucks. I should have figured. He went to Florida State. John Collins to 25 for the Hawks. I really hope that direct deposit comes through because I'm hungry. I want to eat something. And I can't eat shit with like a dollar sixty-five in my bank account. Well listen, Lurk Josh, I, I I believe you my man. I don't I don't think you would lie about something like that. Yogi Ferrell or the Mavericks with an autograph. Plus, if you are lying, it's about to be 5 in the morning and you're lying to some Mexican on the internet. Like, come on, bro. I know you got better shit to do with your time than that. What's so funny? Dwight Howard there for the Hornets to 99. I'm honestly just trying to speed through this. I see the light. I got five boxes left. Folks, I've been breaking this thing since 3 in the morning. It's about to be five. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm not Mexican, but I, I I get it. I look Mexican or Hawaiian or Samoan or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I'm, not a, I'm not an idiot. And I do have a pretty amazing sense of humor, so I got that going for me. I was hoping to pull that Dennis Smith Jr., dude. I'm still hoping for it. You know, I got this box plus four more to go. So we shall see. NBA hentai cards? Whoa. I'm sure they make hentai cards already. Things just got weird.
Oh, well, Ken Freeman, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I hear you on that one, Lurk. Like, I'm starting to think the same thing. Like, I haven't pulled any Lonzos to 199. Base like a motherfucker. But not a single one of his to 199. Watch me pull it. <laughs> so you're cheating on me, Josh? You're cheating on me? Sorry, I don't understand. Tyler Dorsey for the Hawks. Damn, it's hard like that, Kent. Well, listen, I appreciate that. You know, I know I joke around a lot. You know, and I fuck around a lot. I curse a lot. Um, I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I get that. Um, but, you know, I, I do pride myself on, on being an honest dude. And, you know, I genuinely care about you guys. And I want to take care of you. You know, you're spending money on me. And these breaks, you're helping put money in my pocket. So the least I could do is, you know, try to entertain you guys and show you a good time or whatever. For the Clippers, JJ Redick. Sorry, Dirt Lurk. I'm telling you, dog, when you do get in, I'm saving the one on ones for you, bruh. Uh, which which cards are yours? What what teams are yours? I should say, uh, can't. I mean, I will do the recap in a bit. I'll recap it for you in a little bit here. Uh, just tell me what team you have, and I'll check it out real quick. Uh, can't. Boxes to go. Oh, really? Wow. Well, that's kind of how I feel about like. Well, that's how I am with baseball. And it's you know that's it's funny because that's what this room is you know mainly of. Um, is baseball folks like this is usually like a Bowman room. There's a lot of Bowman that gets broken on this channel. Um. So it's a lot of baseball guys, and I don't know shit about baseball. So if I pull a player, and it's a good dude, I'm kind of just like, uh, okay.
That's where the money's at, though, Lurk. The money's in the baseball cards. I know you know that much. Well, Ken, I mean, I'm sorry that you couldn't get into more breaks. But, um... I'll try to get you some, some goodness here, man. You know, you don't have to buy into breaks every single night. You know, do it when you can and whatnot. And eventually, Uncle Jesse's going to hit something nice for you, man. Don't apologize to me, Lurk. I could care less. I don't give a fuck. That, Lurk, I will have. Into the hobby. Because then I'll blow the fuck up. And, you know, I, honestly. I, I, I've, you know, I usually don't do this. But I've seen other breakers. And I'm not saying I'm cooler than them. But I'm cooler than them. So once, you know, people my age or younger start getting into the hobby, you know, because I feel like there's going to be a resurgence of the hobby. Uh, and when they find out about your boy, it's going to be a riz app. Then I'm going to be like, I'm going to be that guy that's sitting courtside at, at all the heat games, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't even pay for my ticket. That was paid for. Glenn Rice got me in there for the free. You know, I went to Georgia, and uh, I gotta say, Zaxby's is fucking amazing. But I never got a chance to go to Patty LaBelle's diner. I, I, I still want to go. I hear their chicken and waffles are legit. I mean, baseball cards sell for stupid money. Alan Williams of the Suns to 99. What's not good? The Patty LaBelle Diner? Oh, don't do me like that. Exactly, Kent, you know? At the very least, maybe I'll, you know, maybe I'll put a smile on your face with my uh with my stupidity. Damn, that's that that hurts. Cause I saw that shit on TV and I was like, damn, I gotta go hit up Patty LaBelle's diner. Give me some chicken and waffles, you know what I'm saying? But I guess I'm better off just going to the Waffle House. Robert Covington of the Sixers. You know, I'm one of the few people that loves the Waffle House. I could care less about the service. Whatever. I get it. But the food? Ooh, so good. Man, I haven't hit the Josh Jackson auto yet. At least, Actually, no, I lied. I did. I think I hit one time. Right, Lurk Josh. <laughs> Actually, Robert Covington is a good player, though. He is a good player. He went off not too long ago. Really, Kent? That's kind of fucked up. Yeah, no, uh, I, I pride myself on being able to empathize with people or put myself in their shoes and whatnot. So, you know, if you spend money on me and I don't pull a single thing for you, the least I can say is say I, I'm sorry and thank you. Josh Henson, 10 out of 10 for the Bucks. That's a pretty sweet card. eBay 101 right there. I'm almost done. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. For the Bucks, Sterling Brown. With the auto.
What up, Devin? Yeah, he, I think he's been here. He's just been chilling. Trying to, uh, you know, not make fun of me or something. You know that boy's, you know that boy's a power lifter. That boy will, will whoop all of us. I've been lurking. Ah, I see what you did there, Devin. Nothing wrong with that. See what I did there? Yeah, whatever. Whew. <laughs> it's five in the morning. Damn, this break still takes me two hours. Did that money come through? Damn, I'm still dog. What the fuck? Put that in the obituary. Here lies Devin Wong. You're fucking with the Wong one, bro. In mine, I just wanted to say it's all good. I can't even read that kanji. I wish I could. It's 304, it's 504 over here. The sun's gonna start coming out in like an hour and a half. Alright. Final little burst of energy here. So I can take my ass. Home. What does it say, Devin? What does that say? Let this be an auto. Damn it. I want to pull that Dennis Smith. So is anybody going to tell me what Lurk Josh is talking about? I want that translated. Oh, man. I thought you understood what that was. Cody Zeller of the Hornets with the auto. Damn, Lurk Josh, why would you, why would you... That's not cool at all, bro. That's really not cool.
<laughs> oh, this guy lurk. I want whatever you're smoking, bruh. Frank Mason the third for the Kings. That's a sweet card there. That's a nice player. From Kansas, baby. Jayhawk. That's what they do out there in Kansas. It's a basketball factory out there. Nothing there. Oh, there's that final answer there. That raspberry kush. That sounds like I don't even want to smoke it. That sounds like some shit I want to eat, yo. You got that raspberry kush? Can I get that in a large? With a side of uh, cream cheese or whatever the fuck. Last two boxes. And after this, you would think, oh, his day is over. He's going to go home and chill. Hell no. Guess what? I got to respond to eBay messages, emails, upload videos, put the video. You're like, man... Get my reports. Ridiculous. Well, I, I, you saw that I pulled one just now, right, Devin? Did the Lakers play it? Uh, well, I should say Thursday. So technically, it's Friday. Ha <laughs> kid. Yeah, I started tripping for a second. I was like, wait, I did? Ra Ra, are you still there? There's no fucking way. I'm still at it, man. Still at it. Who takes naps at 3 in the morning, though? You should just go to sleep. Daniel Hamilton on the Thunder with the auto. Zach Collins to 99 for the Blazers there. I'm almost done. Uh, we hold on to them, and then after a while, we sell them on eBay. Donovan Mitchell or the Jays with the auto.
should get at least one more auto. Probably in the next deck here. Yeah, you are a trooper, Kent. That's it for that box. So it's going to come down to the last box for the hotness. Put this away. Last box mojo. Good luck, everybody. If this was an action flick, if this was an action flick, I'd be the offspring of Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee, and Solomon Grundy. Um, Solomon Grundy? Who the fuck is that? That's a threesome. That's a first. Whoa! I'll tell you what, Kent. As far as the Cavs are concerned, I'm going to have my... Uh, I'll have my sorters send you any Cavs cards. All right, my man? I got you, Kent Freeman. I'll take care of you, bro. At the least, if there are any base cards for the Cavs, uh, I'll have my sorters separate that and send it out to you. You know, a little, a little thank you from me to you, you know, for one, hanging out every day in here with me, you know, talking some shit. But, you know, moving forward, make sure you do your research, man. Make sure you do your research. What up, Take Elite? I'm curious who's who's on breakers. Even platinum is not on right now. <laughs> but I am. Uh, no worries, Kent. Just please do me a favor, bro. Don't buy into breaks unless you know what you're getting yourself into. Don't just automatically assume, you know, that there's that there's, you know, pl players for that team just because they play for that team you know gotta do your research man last box mojo here instead of the Lonzo we get the Bill Willoughby of the Rockets boom I think it's three autos per box in this You don't get shit, Lurk. <laughs> you get a thank you for hanging out with me, bro. It's 
tell you what, though. You put me down with that Brazilian chick, and I smash. It's on like Donkey Kong. Josh Hart of the Lakers. That might be a good one. Well, it's not even that, Ken Freeman. Just, you know, if you're, if you're interested in a, in a certain player. Like, if let, let's, for example, this is basketball, obviously. So, at least you know, oh, damn, if I want a LeBron autograph, you know, I need to buy Upper Deck products. You know what I mean? So, it's not even about, you know, sticking to what you know. There's nothing wrong with expanding your horizons and trying to get other stuff. But you should always do your research, you know. Don't be afraid to ask me, hey, Jesse, is such and such in this product? I might get a little annoyed because, you know, that's the millionth time I heard that question in the day. But I'm still going to help you out just like I helped, you know, all the other, other million questions. I'll just be like, yeah, look, here's a link to the checklist. Check it out. Boom. You know? So don't don't feel like you can't ask me questions or whatever, like or you'll annoy me. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to get annoyed anyway. If it's not from you, it'll be somebody else. But fuck it. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to answer your question. You know what I mean? It's all love, baby. It's all love. There's got to be at least another auto in here. Yeah, that Josh Hart, that's the case hit right there. Everybody looking for that heart. That's looking like it for the break. And it is. Whew! It only took me two and a half hours. Oh, Lord of mercy. Alright, so let me put this away. And uh, just when you think we're done, we are not done. We still got a recap and we got to do a random. The random for the Panini points that we all know and love. So if you notice, I have 150, 250, 400, and 600. And y'all know how I do. I always combine Panini points for one spot. So that's 250 plus 150 is what? 400? I think that's right, 400. 400 plus 600 is 1,000 plus another 400. That's 1,400 Panini points right there coming someone's way. How many times are we going to random? We're going to go six times in the random. Let me pull my list of teams. Put it in the randomizer. Boom. There are all 30 NBA teams. We're going six times in the random. Four. The 1400 Panini points. Good luck, guys. This is five, and the money shot six is going to the Bucks. It is going to the Bucks. So, 1400 Panini points. Headed to the Bucks owner. There you go. All these Panini points going to the Bucks. Right. All right. So, what do we got? Well, we pulled a cool John Henson number to ten for the Bucks. That was it, Uncle Jesse? Nah, son. Or nah, nephew. Got some autos here for you. Hart Lakers. Willoughby Rockets. Mitchell Jazz. Hamilton Thunder. Mason the Third Kings. Zeller Hornets. Brown Bucks. Covington Sixers. Reddick Sixers. Dorsey Hawks. Pharrell. Uh, Mavs, Oliver Rockets, Rubio Jazz, Anikbogu Pacers, Thornwell Clippers, Wiltjer Raptors, Wilson Bucks, Huestis Thunder, Pat and Mavs, Daniels Grizzlies, Light and Nuggets, Jones Warriors, Giles Kings, 
Zimmerman Lakers, Collins Hawks, Posey Grizzlies, Powell Mavericks, Markanen Bulls, Bacon Hornets, Manning Clippers, Harris Nuggets, Young Pacers, Jackson Pelicans, Chris Suns, Markel Fultz for the Sixers, and De'Aaron Fox for the Kings. There's nice stuff to be had, folks. And there it is. My friends, for those of you still hanging out with your boy late into the night, it is 523 in the a.m. And that, my friends, was 2017-18 Panini NBA Hoops Basketball. 20 box, full case break number four, eBay style. Thank you very much, guys. We'll get it out to you.